Commission for Wednesday, January 10th, 2024, at 5 p.m. Um, a quorum uh, is present. Uh, roll call can be visual if that's okay with you guys. And then I know the meeting was properly posted. Okay. So we'll go to number three, uh, public appearances. Uh, I see none. Anybody out there in the world of internet? No. So we'll go to old business, update on the public works and utilities director recruitment. We, uh, as you know, John filled in. Our, he'd been our utility superintendent for, I believe, not even eight months at the time that we asked him to step in as interim director. Um, showed, showed me and everybody else e even more than we could have imagined. And then since we've begun recruitment anyway, we did go through the process had a really, really strong pool of candidates, which is great considering other positions, it's been hard to get people. And then, so essentially though, we knew maybe we're just kinda um, seeing if anybody out there could be better than John and ultimately no. Um, so I'll introduce you to our new director, John Bublitz. Um, in the coming months, I'm sure I, I won't even attempt, you'll, you'll see. Um, all that he brings to it, and uh, I'm just happy that he didn't apply here back in 2015. <laughs> so, we're thrilled to have him. Turn the clock back. Hey, JJ? Yep. Two things. Uh, one, are we recording this meeting? Ooh. Yes, Graham is recording it. <clears throat> okay. And two, does that mean we're going to start a recruitment process for a uh, um, yeah. superintendent? John is going to cover that a little later in his report. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Okay. Uh, number five, new business. Discuss and consider SCADA system equipment upgrades. So yeah, so obviously we have kind of chatted about this. You know, I, I know I've been a part of a few conversations about this and maybe there's been a one or two uh, prior. Uh, ultimately, I'm just looking for, you know, we as the utilities looking for approval to kind of start moving forward with this. Ultimately, there's two facets to this. Josh could touch on it a little bit as well, but ultimately there's an elect electrical side and uh, uh, more of the telemetry, the software and PLCs and M M MLCs and all these uh, antenna upgrades and things that are more, um, you know, things that we need to, you know, we need to start getting uh, our contractor to, you know, procure them and start getting them on order and everything, as we know, takes a long time. So I'm just trying to get the ball rolling, basically get this, uh, uh, get this approved so we can start having that, um, getting some of that things coming. Ultimately, um, and we can touch on whatever you want to touch on in the proposal. Um, ultimately, the, the, the big, you know, there's a, because we're going to update the antenna system, Currently, everything has to talk to our main uh, MCF, uh, M MLC, and then we have to be able to, you know, we have to get all these antennas to get everything in house, and then they, they you know, we'll, it's going to be kind of a ballet act of get, getting all of our facilities upgraded at the same time so they can start talking. So we need to kind of get everything here and get it, get these cabinets built and and uh, and kind of be ready for when we when it's go time and we can get everything. Uh, connected kind of at the same time because ultimately we can go a day or so without a, a facility talking to our main system but we want to we want to make sure that we're, that we're only talking about a day or or whatever so we're trying to get everything kind of ordered up okay um i know i got some questions anybody else got some questions yeah i just had one question are we looking at the seventy two thousand dollar figure or the six hundred thirty nine thousand eight hundred dollar figure the big one the okay. big one So John, just to like, just to add on to John's, you know, description of it, you guys are looking at L.W. Allen's portion of it, which would be the equipment, all that integration that will take place. That's who, that's who supplies the village now with all the support on all of the old stuff, right? And if you have a problem, John, right, you're calling them up. So this is, this is your same supplier and, and uh, you know, agent that you're working with on all your other stuff. There's a side part to this, and that's when they put it all in, there's an electrician that has to take things out you know, rewire things, put stuff in, in other places. That will be kind of a second tier to this. So what you're looking at is a proposal that they can get to start procuring the equipment, start getting all that stuff. As you know, getting electrical stuff, like look at the solar solar panels. I mean, it takes, takes months, if not a year, to kind of get some of this stuff wrapped down. Um, they get that piece of it, and then in February, 
right around the February time frame, we're going to put out a bid for all the electrical work on top of that that then puts all this into place and wires it all in. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a two-part piece, right, John, that, you, that we're going to kind of do here. Yeah, correct. And, uh, you know, part of that electrical side, which will get bid out in February, is a generator for our well number three um, so we could have, you know, some backup generation when and if that's needed. Um, but that'll be part of that next that, that next bid that goes out in February. So besides this bid right now, there's a second one coming? Yes, or? in February. <coughs> Excuse me, all the stuff is not covered in this? Correct, correct. Okay. So I guess if I were you guys, I'd be asking why is it two separate ones? Um, so the, a lot of the SCADA stuff um, that we have is LW Allen. It's a very specialized product, which is why this portion of the product wasn't formally bid out. The electrical stuff can be and should be. So that's why we separated it from this portion of the, the final product, um, just to make sure we were following and in line with all of our, the, requir the bidding requirements. Do we have any rough scale of magnitude from previous projects to understand where what we're talking about? If we're talking about twenty thousand dollars worth of electrical or two hundred thousand dollars worth, uh, I'll let Josh kind of yeah. touch on that. Yeah, the electrical side of it is, is still pretty big because you got that big generator at Well Three, which is so it's not just electrical work, but it's electrical equipment in, in some of the areas too. So um, right now, our electric electrical budget. Uh, is, is around 300,000. Now there's another 150,000 also on top of that. You'll see there's a Trillium station in there. That's in, uh, what am I blanking? The, the development that, that's in, what is that usually called, JJ? Forston? Over there, Forston. Yep. Uh, so that, is, that, that station we're gonna have as a bid alternative. You'll see it in, in LW Allen's proposal. They have stuff for Trillium. And then you'll also, in our bid, out to the contractor. There's another generator that would have to go down there and a bunch more work that would have to go down there as far as panels and other stuff electrically. That would be another 150,000. So we're looking anywhere from 300 to 450,000 on the electrical side only, Mike. Okay. The reason we're bidding that at Trillium as an alternative and something that will come in front of you guys in a month here, next month, will be all that east stuff on the east side of the village. If you put in that large lift station, you could get rid of Trillium. So there's a chance to not spend a bunch of money on Trillium, a couple hundred thousand dollars, right? And put that instead in towards of abandoning it and, and putting a, a gravity line to this new this new east side lift station and, and eliminating the lift station altogether. So a lot of us, it, as far as um, LW Allen's quote has it as an alternative and as we bid it out, it'll be an alternative. We can decide that, you know, in months to come. I guess my last question is it talks about you talk about here that um, it's to be funded with water and sewer impact fees is that include what we're talking about today as well as the electrical and everything the whole scope or just the 639 that we're talking about today um, to the extent that the funds are available um, it looks like um, all of the cost right now should be covered by impact by the impact fees okay what, what's that leave our balance then uh, so sewer has a significantly higher balance as anticipated. Um, I think we have about, I apologize, we have a, about $2 million now in sewer impact fees. So if we're spending, you know, 190,000 here and let's just say for fun math, let's just add 50,000 and make that 250. So then you're still having about one and a half million for uh, sewer and then water probably gonna be probably around 100 or 150,000. Um, ultimately, um, what Trilogy is also working on is retiring the existing um, impact fees and implementing new uh, project specific impact fees um, as well. Um, the current impact fees are um, pretty dated um, by now and we just wanna make sure that, you know, it's it, the longer those fees are out there, the more and more difficult it becomes to um, justify continuing to collect those fees with the recouping the project cost. So we just wanna make sure we're identifying, okay, well, what are the new, what are gonna be the new cost for uh, the, the utilities and make sure that we're kind of creating that R, R use factor to um, uh, coming up with the, the impact fees in the future.
and last for me is uh, um, what kind of warranties and how long is this upgrade and new system expected to last us before we have to do this all over again? I mean that's Walmart, a tough. That's Walmart. a yeah. It's a tough thing to. I mean this current system, um, software wise, is about 18 years old. So certainly as as lift stations come aboard and like Shady Grove is a new lift station from a couple of years ago. There's newer technology in there, but but the the antenna because it had to match our old system is the old style antenna. The the the, the battery backup is a, is an older style to match the, the our current setup. So the, the the PLC is the older style. It's it's uh you know it's not the newer style that's readily available if it goes if it goes bad. So so certainly it just gets it gets us up to today's standard with the hopes that that's you know in theory these these uh, the controllers and stuff would then last. Um, they would keep supplying replacements for another you know ten or fifteen years. That's the hope you know because because bottom line is that's the concern we have as a utility is. Any of our, almost any of our existing PLCs go down. It's a huge, it's a huge, you know, problem because because it's not as simple as just putting a new PLC in because the new PLCs require all this different technology to run, which is what you know a lot of this cost is, um, is to get us up to a point where we can install a new PLC and then we'd be able to you know have a backup or have be you know get a backup. There is currently old technology PLCs there that that. Companies like L.W. Allen kind of tuck away, so it, in an emergency scenario. But as a utility, we don't want to. We don't want to be in that spot. We want to be able to say, "Well, we let's let's make sure we have what we need." And standard warranty on workmanship and parts and all that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess I don't know the exact warranty on uh, on it, but it's it, every all all tech stuff is about a year warranty, it, like but from from manufacturer. Okay. And uh, we need a motion for this to move forward, I take it? Okay, so I'll make a motion that we move forward with the, uh, what's the final dollar amount? Do we have to have the dollar amount in there? I don't think we have to, but I'm gonna recommend, recommend the 693. That's 39, excuse me. Okay, I'll make a motion that we move forward with the SCADA upgrades in the amount of $639,821. I'll second. Any other discussion on this before we move to just just quick question? Josh, has did we approve prelim, uh, before this? The does this include any of your guys's time needed for this? You guys already approved a task order. For okay, us. I just wanted to I just wanted to make sure that we we were, were moving forward with that approved. So I have no concerns. And the public bid, right? It will come back, you know, in March. That will secure um, this. This committee can then approve through March on the electrical stuff, yep. Okay, uh, all those in favor of this, say aye. 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 Anyone aye. opposed? Anyone abstaining? Okay, so that motion passes. Uh, number six, engineer's report. All right, well, what's not in the report, but I need to let the commission know tonight is, uh, we unfortunately, Kyla, which you've seen from time to time too, is not working with Strand anymore. Uh, she's been at Strand for eight years, coming right out of college, but she's moving on to do some other things, and um, it's, a, it's a big loss for, for me and, and for the village of Cottage Grove. I mean, I'm obviously going to still be here, we have a lot of staff that you guys have seen, uh, but she was just kind of, you know, the number two, right? It was her and I tackling things, so I wanted to just let you guys know that as of the first of the year, she's kind of parted ways. Um, you know, a lot of the staff have said, you know, kind of what's next, who's maybe the next number two to kind of come in. And, and we're gonna kind of work through that with staff. Um, right now, off the top of my head, and I don't know if the commission's really had a lot of uh, interactions with Tyler Wallen, but he's been out and was out in the village for a couple summers doing construction observation, knows the village really well. Uh, so lots has done some design work too. So we might try to see and kind of fit him in. You might see some new face uh, on that end, but just wanted to let you know that uh, if you reach out to Kyla through her email, at least through Strand, you might get a bounce back, so. Um, and then kind of moving on just overall, just the report. Shady Grove, um, you know, we've talked about that and how they have to come back in the spring and kind of take the front lots that, that, that are along Cottage Grove Road and have to put utilities in there still um, as they divide those differently. 
authentics we've talked about in the past several times and authentics um, you know we were waiting on that final warranty language for the that flat section of sewer main we did receive that finally it's executed that is that is kind of done now we'll watch that over the next five years make sure we don't have any issues or problems with it west west lawn estates you know finished up phase four working on kind of getting phase five six and some lift station approvals out there for the next phase and also talking about even maybe creating the larger, you know, the next addition to a plat so they continue to move along in, in, in West Lawn. Uh, I've always kept Project Silver Eagle on the docket just to kind of talk about it. We've, we're told we're gonna see some stuff here this winter and, and we'll just keep the utility up to speed on, on when and if that project moves forward. Right now it's been, it's still been pretty quiet, at least on the engineering side. And then the stuff we're working on uh, directly for the commission and, and the village is we talked about the skate upgrades and, and what we're doing there. The other thing is the Ridge Lift Station. So next month in February, we wanna present on that, our kind of preliminary, I, I would say engineering on that location, some of the costs, some of the alternatives potentially at the station that you guys could consider. And basically this is putting us in a place for that when development out on the east side happens and is serious, which we're already hearing Again, in the village, um, some additional people coming forward and wanting to do development out there um, that we're ready to go, that we can meet their timeframes and you guys can proceed forward and actually get into full design, but not taking it too far that we can't still make some, some tweaks. And we'll talk about that at the February meeting um, on what our thoughts are on all of that. And then lastly, um, what we're working on is right now for 2024 is the street and parking lot rehabilitation projects mostly public works types of things on the on the on the utility side it would just be simple casting replacements and valve replacements and stuff all up in that kind of crawford platte area north of of bb um, and just west of of, of maine um, in that quadrant there and um, john and his staff have already gone out looked at a lot of the utilities on that side and we're going to replace a few of the things that are needed it should be pretty small as far as the utility commission's uh, portion of that work. Any questions for me? Okay, thank you. Uh, moving yep. on to number seven, director's report. Uh, nothing too crazy to report from the last month or so, but we had we had we do we had a couple issues. We had uh, we have a, currently have a mixer in our north water tower that's down. We're uh, looking at what what truly is wrong with it. If it's the VFD or if it's the mixer, and trying to kind of sort through next steps there. Um, at our south main lift station, all f we had started noticing some issues with pumping and things, and. Um, uh, we had a contractor pull the pump and found that all three of our impellers were kind of destroyed. So, um, you know, again, those took mon a month to get, and we got them and got them uh, replaced. And we're also looking into what caused that, right? So, um, South Main's kind of unique in the sense that it's, you know, it's a smaller station, but it's bringing in, you know, about 1,500 GPM of effluent. So, uh, we're, we're, we're noti we noticed um, that the way these impellers were kind of chewed up as it could have, most likely was, was from cavitation from air and and you know these lifts you know this so we're trying to kind of work with, with work with some experts and try to figure out if there's a way we can divert that flow maybe to kind of work around the pump instead of right at these pumps and maybe that'll help that with some hydrate? of this what's that that's the one by hydrate, that's the one by hydrate. yeah so we, we, we were able to get them replaced and everything's kind of working like as they should our next step is just try to figure out how you know it's five years worth of use and these pumps run 24 hours a day one pump and then it switched to the next so so you know they do run a lot uh, but so we're trying to figure out how, how to better maybe extend the life we did we did coat these with a special coating that may or may not extend the life as well but but uh, we're working through some of that stuff uh, what else you might have noticed that we've we got a, a, there's a company in town televising and cleaning um, all of our clay and our concrete sewer, sanitary sewer, and we're you know part of that budget. We we're going to try to line some of our worst stuff initially, and um, what we're you know and we're certainly finding plenty of roots and some a lot of this concrete. The flow line is really you know it's been deteriorated and it's a lot of aggregate showing, and um, we're gonna we're gonna start planning uh, some full segment lining. Uh, hopefully, get some of that done this year and kind of continue to kind of get through the village. Uh, 
uh, what else? So, uh, we, you know, we did post the utility position, um, my, my position, utility superintendent position internally. Um, there, is, there is a candidate or person that we currently have employed that would be a great fit and a, and a great candidate. So we're, 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 we're seeing if that works out or if that's something he's interested in. And then if not, you know, we post it externally, but the hope is, 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 is that person fits, fits in. And, and that's kind of our ultimate goal in our line of work is the kind of hire, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a poster child from, from working up through the ranks. And, and the hope is, is that we continue to do that, that, that we're building internal candidates, you know, uh, and getting them prepped for that kind of stuff as well. So that's what, that our, that's what our hope is. And then potentially in a week or so, we would post for a technician position externally, but, but that's, that's a win for us if that's the case. That's really all I have. Okay, any questions for him? I have just one item, quick Charlie, if I could. Um, the village approved, the, the village board approved uh, the hiring of a deputy clerk um, in this year's budget. At, we're getting a second poll in place, population growth and just elections and, and other office functions. Long story short, um, most likely we'll get our clerk Lisa here, but they're gonna, when that person's onboarded, they're gonna discuss how they handle meetings, but this will likely be, unless she comes just for fun, this will likely be our last meeting with Kristen, so I just um, wanted to make sure that we get a chance to say nice things about her and everything she's done. As this group all remembers, probably, um, Kristen came, with, came to the village, it's been a while now, but um, um, as an admin assistant, it was kind of helping with everything, and then when Cynthia left, um, stepped up and threw her hat in the ring and has just grown with the position and been fantastic through finishing up our meter change outs to the conversion to AMI to now Cameron and Kristen are hard at work on monthly billing coming as soon as the PSC gives a, the go ahead. So um, anyway, Kristen, uh, thank you very much for everything you've done. And you know, technically she's under finance now, but she'll always be public works and utilities. Well, I, I'll speak for myself. I am so appreciative of all the time you've helped us and me through these meetings. Um, I'm glad you're not leaving too far away. Um, but again, you were greatly appreciated. Yes, thank you. I see pizza in your feet, sir. So, okay. So number eight is approve the uh, voucher payments. Uh, I make a motion to approve three hundred eighty-five thousand five hundred thirty-one dollars and twenty-one seconds. Second, please. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. What did I say? Uh, motion to approve the, the corrected amount. I'll make a motion. Okay, second. I'll second. <coughs> um, any discussion, questions? So all those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And no one abstaining. So that passes. Thanks. Uh, next would be um, approve the minutes for the November 8th, 2020 three utility commission meeting. Can I have a motion please? I wanna just cut, cut in real quick before the end of the meeting, uh, cause I wanna share some good news. Um, Trilogy's original estimate on the rate was a lot higher than what you are likely going to hear back in a couple of weeks or a month or so. So I just wanna let you know that that's good news for this com commission, um, but we'll have those final uh, numbers to you here shortly. Uh, again, approve the minutes of the November 8th, 2023 Utility Commission meeting. Can I have a motion, please? Hi, I'll motion to approve the November 8th, 2023 minutes. Uh, second? I can second. Okay. Uh, any other discussion? Um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And no abstention, so that passes. Uh, second, uh, the next meeting date is scheduled for February 14th. If you guys would all be my Valentine's, 5 p.m. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, I went off script there a little bit. Okay, so February 14th at 5 p.m. And lastly, future items uh, for the next meeting. Uh, will we know when and how much the impact fees will be? Mm -hmm. 
in the near future? Uh, no. Impact fee is going to be a much larger. Or, but it, no. Yeah. Long story <laughs> short, no. Impact fees are probably um, Trilogy is really going to get started on that. The, the rate case study was pretty um, extensive this year, especially with. Um, They've had some turnover on their side as well. Um, so I'm imagining sometime in um, March or April, you'll start to hear some more number about potential new impact fees um, uh, potentially being implemented. That is a relatively lengthy process too. Um, you have to have a public hearing. Um, and so um, ultimately uh, we'll wanna be, um, we'll wanna make sure we have good communication out there for our residents. Um, you know, if, if there's any residents listen, you know, the reason why we have impact fees is to, you know, take off the burden from new development on the existing system. Um, so they're not meant to punish people who are building homes and new businesses. They're meant to make sure everyone's equally paying for their impact on the system. Um, so again, we'll get that positive communication out there. Um, I am expect, uh, so Eric is filing the last part of the, the, um, rate case, I think today. Um, it's technically called the utility proposed uh, cost of service. Um, so he, if you're talking about agenda items next meeting, he very likely will be, he and Christine will likely be here um, to pr do a final presentation and then we'll start setting up a public hearing dates. Um, still on track to switch to monthly billing. Um, and Kristen and I are having oh so much fun with, with, with that process so far. Um, but uh, um, things are moving along. Happy with where we're at. Right. Um, after hearing that, it might be a lengthy one on Valentine's. Make your, make your plans late. Um, we initially talked internally about having a joint um, utility and plan commission meeting for the developers that are looking east. Um, after we were digging into it with, uh, with Josh and the team here, we think it's best to probably keep everybody in their respective lanes. And so you got so this group can focus on the lift station and, and all of that and plan commission can focus on their duties. So, um, there's a potential that the developer may be coming to present next month. Um, whether they do or not though, Josh, I anticipate we'll be ready with our information for the commission to, to start thinking about at the very least. We're going to be ready regardless if they come or not. I think we, we're at a point now where um, we need to share kind of what we have and get some opinions from, from the commission. Yep. yep. So it could be, a, could be a longer than average meeting. But a lot of exciting stuff. All right. Well, thank you for all the work, Kristen. Uh, so finally, uh, 12, adjournment. Can I hear a motion to adjourn, please? And I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor of going home, say aye. Aye. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Happy New Year. Efficient meeting. Love it. What? It's an efficient meeting. I love it.